Urinary Diversions A urinary diversion is a way to release urine from the body when the urinary system is damaged or not working. Any problem in the bladder that blocks the flow of urine and causes it to accumulate in the ureters and kidney may result in the need for a urinary diversion. A urinary diversion may mean a urostomy, which requires a pouch to be worn outside the body, or a continent diversion, which involves the creation of a pouch or bladder inside the body, usually using part of the digestive tract. The most direct method is a ureterostomy. The surgeon detaches one or both ureters from the bladder and brings them to the surface of the abdomen with the formation of an opening, a stoma, to allow passage of urine. A ureterostomy requires a collecting pouch placed over the stoma because there's no muscles around the stoma to control the flow of urine. This method is very rarely used because of the resulting scarring and stricture of the ureters. To prevent this, they create an ileal conduit using a short segment of the small intestine. One end of the removed short segment of the intestine is placed at the skin surface to create the stoma, and the ureters are then attached to the other end of the segment of intestine. The advantages of the ileal conduit urinary diversion surgery are, is it's a relatively simple surgery. It requires less surgical time compared with other surgical methods, and there is no need for occasional catheterizations. The disadvantages of the ileal conduit urinary diversion are, the change in body image, using an external bag to collect urine, which might leak or have odors, and urine can back up into the kidneys, causing infections, stone formation in some patients, and organ damage over time. In the continent method of diversion, the surgeon creates a pouch or reservoir inside the body from a section of the stomach or small or large intestine. The ureters carry urine to the pouch where it is stored. Depending on the type of continent diversion, they may or may not have a stoma. This method requires the patient to empty the reservoir, the internal pouch, regularly through a stoma using a catheter. If the urethra is preserved during the operation, the patient may be able to have a urinary diversion that does not require a stoma or a catheter. The neobladder, or orthotopic bladder, is a bladder substitute. It does not work just like a regular bladder. A normal bladder does two things. It stretches to store and it contracts to empty. A neobladder will stretch to store, but it does not have the ability to contract. This means an individual will urinate in a slightly different way. The new bladder is emptied by relaxing the sphinc sphincter muscles and contracting the abdominal muscles, forcing the urine out. Or they may have to empty using a catheter through the urethra. Compared with other techniques, orthotopic bladder replacement leads to an improved quality of life without a stoma and external collecting devices, and with full retention of the patient's body image. Disadvantages include longer surgical time, the need for a longer bowel segment for neobladder construction, and the delay before optimal neobladder function is achieved.